Good morning or afternoon to everybody. Welcome back to another asynchronous day. Now, today I want to start out with above and beyond. So I'd just like to give a shout out to Abdizis who turned in his notebook check early, Carissa who asked great questions in class last week, and Jack who pulled some great facts out of his sources. So nice job to our above and beyonds. All right, so the first thing that we are doing today is you are going to be looking for your state legislator. I, as somebody who enjoys writing, always know, wants, always want to know who I am writing to. And today, you guys are going to be finding who you could be writing to. Um, and you're going to make that choice. So, I want to show you what this is going to look like. So if you go ahead and go to the asynchronous day folder and click on the find your legislator link and then you click on this little box here if you if it doesn't let you go in click here and you'll notice that it has the house and the district map these are the two areas of congress and it has this map now what you can do is type in your home address down here okay and you can pick now it's going to come up with two people. Okay, the first person is going to be your representative and the second person is going to be your senator. So right now I'm going to type in Metro's address, which is 1929 Kenny Road and then of course Columbus. If you don't know your address, please ask your parents. And then I want you to choose between either the guy or girl on the right or the left and the guy or girl on the right. And you're going to pick one of those. Now, granted, you can do research and pick which one you think you like best. That's fine. But that's who you're trying to write to. Okay, you're going to pick one of these. Okay, now moving on. You can go ahead and do that right now and pause your video. Once you have done this, um, we are going to be moving on to writing the letter. Now, the most important part to writing this letter is that you prove to your representative that a law in Ohio should be in place. For example, today I'm going to be writing to my elected official about why Ohio should have what's called an extreme risk protection order. Now. This is not in the Ohio law, which is good because your law that you want to be passed cannot already be in Ohio law. So this one is it, okay? So this one basically allows any friends or family of somebody to report that person if they will hurt themselves or others. And then their firearm will be taken away. So my thing in Ohio was that I saw domestic violence happening with guns uh, quite a bit, and I want that problem to be fixed. Ohio doesn't have a law that prevents people from having guns who could be dangerous to people. So this law I saw as way, and one that California has and other states alike, that I thought, hey, Ohio could probably use this. I'm going to write to my legislator about it. So I found tons of evidence as to why we should have this in our state. Here's some examples. Please ignore that 13 states. That's a wrong statistic. This is the correct one. Here are some examples. 19 states have already had a similar law to this one. Nearly 1 million women in the U.S. have been shot or shot at. There's a variety of different um, statistics and facts that I pulled out of there and I'm going to put into my letter. Now, do I just drop them like it's hot? I just list off a bunch of statistics? No, that's not me, right? I want to write to the, the representative as if it were me, as if I am talking to them. So I'm going to use sentence starters. Like, for example, look at this statistic. Or, for instance, look at this fact. And, of course, I'm going to cite my sources. So in a study done by the American Pediatric Association, it reported blah, 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 blah. Or according to this person, blah, 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 blah. You want to make sure that you're citing your sources. For example, 
do not abandon your quote. We can't just drop quotes in there and expect everybody to understand what they mean. No, no, no. We kind of have to treat them like children. We kind of have to say, hey, this is exactly how I want you to feel about this. See this statistic? I need you to feel a very certain way about it. Okay, and I'm going to explain to you what you should feel about it. Let me ask you what the difference is between these two. Number one, women are especially affected by gun violence. So I'm, I'm saying this. Bloomberg School of Public Health reports that nearly 1 million women in the U.S. have been shot or shot at by an intimate partner, and about 4.5 million women have been threatened by a gun in their lifetime. This law would allow women to take back their power. Or I could just drop in the statistic. That doesn't make much sense to me. Which one does a better job arguing? You tell me. Which one does a better job arguing? Well, of course, it's this one. Okay? Not only do I introduce the quote here, women are especially affected by gun violence, I also cite where I got it. So that my reader knows, hey, this is, this is legit, right? This is reliable. And that nearly, and then I go into the evidence about women being shot or shot at or threatened. And then at the end, the key part is explaining how it proves that this law should exist. So I say this law should allow women to take, this law would allow women to take their, back their power. So I explain how this law would help women in the long run. So uh, on Friday, we talked about the categories of social justice. Right now, I want you to think, which category of social justice am I the most passionate about? Remember, this is the one that you are going to be using for your design challenge, so think wisely. Then, find a policy or law that has been passed in a different state that has not been passed here in Ohio that relates directly to your topic. My, my category of social justice was gun violence. So I found a law that was in other states that wasn't in our state. Something that you really have to watch out for, guys, is that a lot of laws are federal laws, which means every single person in America has to follow those laws. State laws are different. We're focusing on state laws, not federal laws. If it's passed by U.S. Congress, that's not a law we're looking at. You are writing to state officials who pass state laws. Your goal in this, guys, when you're writing your letter, is to say, hey, I see that we're lacking this law in Ohio, and I want you to vote for it. I want you to bring it here. It matters to me, and this is why. That's your goal. That's what you're going to be doing today. For example, here is my policy slash law. My topic was gun violence, and I said, uh, Ohio should pass the extreme risk protection order because it was already passed in California. And of course, I answer the law, what does it do? Well, here's what it does. It prevents people who might harm themselves or others from having firearms temporarily. So your goal today, research different laws and policies about your topic. Make a list of all the laws that you find and then check to see if Ohio has that law. And at the end, you are choosing one law that you would argue needs to be passed in Ohio. A great thing for this, guys, California and New York, I call them the land of laws. If you're looking for a law that has not passed in Ohio, that is passed in a different state, it's most likely passed in California or New York. That's where I found my law. So a lot of great reason, a way to do this is say, uh, bullying laws passed in California or racial justice laws passed in California. And then you cross check and you say, does Ohio have a law that prevents discrimination against this, these people? And if they don't, boom, there's your law. Okay.
So that's your goal for today. So go ahead and do that and pause this when you're ready. And then on pause it when you're ready, sorry. All right, the last thing you need to do is fill out the social justice law choice. So you need to answer the following questions. Name the law that you would like to implement in Ohio. What problem could you see this law solving? What exactly will, you, will the law do for Ohio? And what is the name of the legislator that you will be writing to? Those are the questions you're answering. Now, if you have any questions for me, any, you can't find a law, you want to know if there's, this law exists in Ohio, you just, you feel like you need help. This is a difficult task, and I'm not saying it isn't, okay? I am there for you. I'm here by my email all day, okay? Please, please, please email me. So finally, the two things that you need to get done. One, you need to get done this, the social law, cho justice law choice. It's under the asynchronous day. The other thing that you need to get done is, well, the first thing you need to get done, obviously, is finding your legislator. And then, obviously, you're going to do this, social justice law choice. So after you find your legislator, you can do this one. Cool? If you don't do it, I'm going to have to call you. So please do it. Okay? Like I said, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to email me. I am happy to help you. Um, don't forget that you have to pick a topic. Um, and try to find a law that doesn't exist in Ohio that helps fix problems with that topic. Have a great rest of your day, guys, and I will see you back in here on Friday. Bye, everybody. Or Wednesday. Wednesday. Bye, everybody. <laughs>